at the moment before the DLC, there are 17 secret weapon skills to collect. And I'm going to show you where to find them and what they look like. The weapon skills are farmed from human bosses, or news to be human at least. The weapon skills can be farmed on either New Game or New Game Plus. The drop rate doesn't change. That's the same for smithing techs. To get the most out of your farming, you want to have either the Child of the Sun armor set for its luck bonuses and the Kadama headpiece. Or if you don't have the Child of the Sun armor set, the Eccentric's armor is a good backup for its 20 plus luck and 40% strong attack damage. Once you have your armor, chuck luck and item drop rate on every piece. Join the Gamma Clan for some extra luck and have Itokuri as your main spirit. Also, make sure to have soul cores that have item drop rate or item drop rate while in your guy shift. Another thing to make sure that you switch your Kadama blessing to the material drop rate before you start grinding. There are two skills defined for the sword. The Dragon Fane skill can be attained from Saito in the second region soaring, and the main mission, the Hollow Fortress. The second skill, True and Through, can be attained from Ayaza Nagasama in the third region in the main mission, Bird in a Cage. Dual Swords actually have four secret skills that can be found. The first one, Punish the Proud, is dropped from Yoshimoto in the main mission, Hidden Monsters, in the second region. Another skill can be picked up from Saito in the Hollow Fortress called Dragon Claw. The last two skills for the dual swords can be attained from Tokichiyo chan! There are two missions that are available. One in the Twilight region, main mission, the two faces of hospitality, and the sixth region, dreams, main mission, cherry blossom viewing in Diego. Both are pretty good to farm as both have different smithing techs to drop. The skills from Tokichiro are double headed slice. An ultimate sign of the cross. Speed has two skills to collect in there, both from Adia Toshi. You can find him in the Twilight Regions, main mission, Ruin Draws Near. While you're in the Ruined Worlds near main mission in the Twilight region, you can also pick up the one and only skill for the dual hatchets, Deadly Spiral. The skill drops from the boss, Shibata. The Axe also has one secret skill to find, Spirit Storm, can be attained from the Obsidian Samurai in the submission, a formal match, located in the third region, Shadow. The 
There are two skills to be found for the Sukarigama. They are both dropped by Akumbun. And his mission can be found in Dream called Japanese Heart Yokai Smarts. The skills are Second Wind and Water Drop. The Tonfa skill Storm Strikes is the most annoying to farm as you can only get it from the Dojo Tonfa Mastery Mission with Hansel Chan. Make sure to wear your farming set as the Kadama Blessing and the Spirits don't mean shit here. Another tip is to get the Shifling skill Mercenary Strike that increases the item drop rate by 10% when defeating an enemy with a certain active skill. Equip that and that should help a bit. There are another two skills to collect for the Adachi. Dragonhorn can be attained from Saito in the second region soaring, and the main mission the Holo Fortress. The next Adachi skill is bloody fucking OP. Swirling Snow can be found from Magara in the sub-mission the Brothers Blades in the third region. The last two skills are for the Switch Glaive. One can be found from Yoshimoto called Swin Swept, even though he doesn't have the Switch Glaive. He can be found in the main mission, the Hidden Monsters in the second region. Fleeting Edge skill is dropped by Manya. She can be found in the online mission Winds of Ruin in the 7th region. This is a great mission to farm for Smith and Tex as well. Now you have all the secret skills, and there will probably be more within the DLC to collect. If you found this guide useful, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome vids. Bye!